All right, when you have your photos all done and that you've picked out the ones that you want to put in the art auction, now we need to print them and mount them. So I've got my fancy uh, paper, it's loaded into my printer. And then you can see here, I've got one of my images here. You can probably recognize which effect I put on it. But anyhow, I was down uh, near the boats and I took a nice close up of these ropes that you are used to tie up a boat and I think they look beautiful. And then I added the effect to it and made it even look more beautiful. And so I'm ready to print them. So let me just go ahead and tap on it here and tap on the share button and then wait for it to come up here. And then one of my options down here, of course, is to print way over here. So I'm gonna tap on print and I'm gonna select my little printer that I have. I just have a cheap little printer because honestly, I'm like you guys, I'm a modern person. I don't print very much. I print just a few times a year. So anyhow, there's my, my little printer that I have and uh, it knows already the size. Where the country that I live in, we use uh, A4 size, not letter and legal size. So it's got it and it's going to make it nice and big. You don't have any control over how big the photo prints. For that, you would need to have a different app that then you can control it or you could bring the photo into something like pages or something where then you could resize it and then print that whole page. Okay, so if you really wanna take control over the size of the photo, then that's what you're gonna to have to do. Otherwise, it just tries to make it as big as possible that can fit on the paper that you have loaded into your printer. So let me just go ahead and hit print and bye-bye, there it goes. Now we just have to wait for it to print. Okay, now that you have it printed, you need to get them ready for mounting, which is gonna take place in the next video. But what you can see here is, you see that this border here doesn't match this border over here. And, and so if that happened to you and you've got this, this great looking um, painting or photograph, whichever way you wanna call it, you need to kind of trim it so that all the borders are equal. And some people like to go borderless, but I like to leave what you see here, this little tiny, what is that, four millimeters? That's what I like to leave on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and got my fancy scissors here and trim it so that it all looks the same. Okay, so I've got it all trimmed. I got all my edges now matching and I'm ready to go on to the next video which is mounting them for exhibition.